Inflation and oil and gas companies are looking to the government for additional breaks or a reduction in regulations. New Mexico is in better shape than others for the amount of crude oil the state produces. News 13's Ariana Kraft joins us now with details from a briefing that looks at the data. Today, the Center for Western Priorities shared the latest statistics on oil and gas leasing, permitting, and production on U.S. public lands. Environmentalists say there are more permits on public land leases than the industry knows what to do with. Right now, the oil and gas industry is sitting on more than 9,100 approved but unused drilling permits. Instead of permitting and public land issues, the Center for Western Priorities Policy Director says constraints the industry is seeing are from financing, business practices, and things related to the supply chain. These companies will argue for throwing open all of public lands to uh, leasing and drilling, uh, reducing regulations. And to their shareholders, they say they want to look out for their profits and their stock price. Employees with the state's land office explain for the Permian Basin, 97% of our lands are leased up right now. But we don't know how many of those permits are idle or are producing crude oil. Right now, there are more than 26 million acres of public lands leased for oil and gas development. That's an area larger than the state of Kentucky. In 2020 and 2021, the U.S. was a net petroleum exporter. We exported more than we imported, and U.S. natural gas production hit a record high in December 2021. Oil production is up 20% from a year ago. Um, and hitting peaks we haven't seen since 2014. Data shows New Mexico is the nation's third largest oil producing state. According to the Oil, Gas and Minerals Division in fiscal year 2021, it oversaw 6,800 oil and gas leases. We can see that um, oil rigs have risen by 10 percent. The next slide. And production is already growing and expected to break records in 2022. The New Mexico State Land Office auctions off oil and gas leases every month. In February, there were 10 tracks offered and sold for about 1,594 acres in Lee and Eddy counties. This month, 15 tracks are being auctioned. The auction started yesterday and runs through the 15th. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Ariana. Now, on state lands in New Mexico, the royalty rate can be up to 20 percent. Royalty rates are the percentage of money the state gets from the sale of crude oil. Now, the only royalty rates that are higher than New Mexico is Texas. 